Hold it steady. Okay. Easy now. We don't want to hurt it. This bird's worth at least two grand. It's worth two years in jail if we get caught. Relax. Birds will be across the border and in Vancouver in no time. The plane gets here on time. Harbor Air is always on time. They're punctual and reliable. Thanks, Michael. I uh, need a favor, Grant. An old friend of mine's having some trouble. Anybody I know? Uh, Jesse Carter uh, runs a poultry farm up at Clearbrook. Uh, some of her birds are sick and. Uh, seems to be spreading why don't you call the department of agriculture she's a very dear old friend of mine oh, i see you say old flame of yours george uh, yes well I, all right if i tell her that you'll be there soon sure <laughs> sure Oh, yeah, I've flown through the jungles of Mexico. I once shared my cockpit with a tarantula. Must have been at least... Well, it was that good. Huge. What did you do? Nothing. He just yelled Geronimo and right out the plane. Good thing he was wearing a parachute, huh? <laughs> oh, I wish I could fly through the Mexican jungles. Yeah, you will, Ace. Just keep up those lessons. Yeah, but jail makes me study navigation and all that stuff. Yeah. Here. You better appreciate this, Grant. I'm up to my ears in contracts I should have filled yesterday. Very pretty ears. Tell that to my clients when they sue me. She has very pretty ears. Grant, I'd like you to meet the new pilot I've hired, Rick Corelli. He's helping me cope with all this work. Rick's flown in Mexico and Alaska and Brazil. Yeah, well, I uh, like to live dangerously. Remind me not to fly with you. Oh, Jail, I almost forgot. I have to uh, cancel my lesson tonight. Nicole. It's a Brian Adams concert. You better sort out your priorities. You don't become a flyer without commitment. Let's go, Grant. too hard on Nicole. Not at all. I think she takes her flying lessons for granted. She never studies. Navigation bores her. Maybe it's a mistake to give her free flying lessons. She might care more about them if she earned them. There's the farm, Grant. It started with one bird, then half a dozen, then 20. What are the symptoms? Well, 
First they twitch like something's wrong with their wings. Then they twist their necks around and then they just sit there not doing anything. Jesse, this could be difficult for you. Just tell me the truth. That was the trouble with George Dunbar. He was always trying to protect me. I'll need a viral test, but I'm pretty sure your birds have avian pneumoencephalitis. Oh, no. The last outbreak killed thousands of birds. A major outbreak could wipe out every poultry farm on the coast. Well, there must be some mistake. My birds are the healthiest around. Ask anybody. My breeding stock's famous. Have you bought any new birds or changed your feed supplier? Well, I'll take a sample of grain to the lab and have it checked. And then? We're going to have to call the Department of Agriculture. As of now, your farm is under quarantine. That's strange. What is? Well, the logbook shows less flying time than the engine hours. Either Corelli's bad at math or he's been taking side trips. Well, that's Abigail, my parrot. She likes to scream at the dog. She was a birthday present from my son. I think I better take a look at her. Where did your son find this bird? He bought her from a store in Vancouver, the um, pet palace. I know that store. The owner's been charged with smuggling before, twice. Smuggling? I'll have to make more tests. But Abigail here is probably the source of the disease. <coughs> Parrots carry the virus from the tropics and spread it to domestic birds. Well, why does the government let them in? It doesn't. All imported parrots are quarantined, but most of them don't make it through. That's why parrot smuggling is such big business. And the worst part is the smugglers couldn't care less that they're spreading the disease to your birds. this week, Corelli. Not so rough. You hear the lady? These birds are worth a fortune, but only if they get there alive. Thirty dollars a lesson? Listen, that's not bad. It barely covers the fuel. How am I supposed to get that money? You can help out in the office. Now, that will take forever. And besides, we barely ever even get off the ground to go flying. Nicole, the flying part becomes second nature. It's the other stuff that's difficult and most critical. And boring, like navigation. Like navigation, weather, balance, weights. Yeah. Well, I just hope I can get through all this. Great. Now, watch your fingers. Well, you can't get out of the dishes that way. Don't worry, I'll pay for it out of my allowance. You'll pay for it? What does that mean? What's this, the latest style? I just told her she has to start paying for her flying lessons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, JL, she'll get over it. Hey, Ace, what's up? Where are you going? Packing my things. I'm not taking any more flying lessons from JL. Why? Well, what happened? She cut you off? She might as well have. I mean, I love flying, waking up there. Everything's perfect. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. It kind of feels like nothing can go wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. What the heck? Why don't I give you a lesson in my plane? The Piston Eagle? Are you serious? Sure, why not? Besides, I want to see what you're made of. See the lesions on the heart and lung? Classic pneumoencephalitis. Well, the parrot's definitely the source. We charged the owner of the pet store with selling smuggled goods. Good, I hope you nail them this time. I wish people realized how much harm smugglers do. They spread diseases that kill our birds by the thousands. Well, let's just hope some of Jesse's breeders make it through the quarantine. I'd like to get my hands on those jerks. Well, the main thing is we got it before it spread. I worked on the 82 epidemic. Believe me, that was no day at the beach. I should have spoke up yesterday. I tried to, but uh, I couldn't. Jesse, I think you're very brave for speaking up. George, I'm not brave at all. I just couldn't sleep last night. A few days ago, I sold a couple of breeders to a neighbor. Are they showing any symptoms? Not yet. But no thanks to me. No, Jesse. George, don't go comforting me. I don't deserve it. By your taste, George. She's quite a woman. Hmm? Oh. Got a parcel here for urgent pickup. Repeat, urgent pickup. Delivery to Half Moon Bay. Over. What's the hurry? Over. Our client will only take delivery today. We'll pay you a bonus, a thousand dollars. Over. Okay. Uh, I'm on my way, but I'm gonna have to bring my passenger along with me. Repeat, I will be bringing a passenger, so I have the parcel wrapped and waiting outside. Over. Roger. Out. Just take a few minutes. Friends of mine, artists. I deliver sculptures for them on my spare time. Can I fly there? Bet you can. Listen, I don't think you should say anything to JL about this. I don't want her to think I'm moonlighting or anything. Fine. Well, we better quarantine all the poultry farms in the district. I agree. Better safe than sorry. Hi, JL. This is Frank Norris of Agriculture Canada. Hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Where'd you get that? I found it in the hold of one of my planes. I was coming to talk to you about it. Ma'am? Yeah. That's the tail feather of a hyacinth macaw. 
beautiful bird and a very endangered species. There's only a few left in the wild. Grant, Corelli flew that plane last. I think we'd better ask Rick Corelli a few questions. It would certainly explain the extra engine hours. Somebody tell me what's going on. Harbor Air? Oh, hi, Jack. May I speak to Rick Corelli, please? Where is he? Oh. I see. Corelli left over an hour ago in his plane. And he took Nicole with him. Take the controls now. Landing this baby can be a little tricky. Sculptors. Yeah, I was telling her how I deliver your all stuff for you. Oh, right, our sculptures. Nicole Roberts or Rick Corelli, are you there? Is Dad? Dad, it's Nicole, over. Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Rick just took me for a flying lesson. Where are you? Uh, somewhere on the coast. Can you be more specific? I'll ask Rick. Dad needs to know where we are. Shut up. Nobody can hear you. Who are they, Rick? What's going on? Nicole, do you hear me? Nicole, are you there? We're going to be able to work something out, right, guys? You know how much this operation is worth? hundred grand a month. Come on, Gord. Just a kid. This kid is in our way. Well, that wasn't part of the deal, was it? Start the plane, Nicole! To take it, I can't handle it. Dad, it's Nicole. Please come in. Over. We read you, Nicole. Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Nicole, we need your exact location. Rick, where are we? They have to know. Nicole, concentrate. Use the VOR. Come on. Concentrate. Y V R. Vancouver. I'm on the 180-degree radial of Vancouver, and the 
the 260-degree radio at Belly Camp. Well done, Nicole. What do I do now? Is Rick all right? Can he fly? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, Dr. Roberts. I... Besides, I get an ace on board. Come on, Nicole. I'll drive you to your flying lesson. Okay. Hold on a second. <sighs> Did you know Captain Cook made the first maps around here? Too bad that crocodile ate his hand. The one without the hand was Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Come on, leave that stuff. You're late. Let's go. Uh, flying lessons aren't the same without Rick Corelli around. I don't know. That new pilot seems kind of nice. He's nice, but he's incredibly old. JL's new pilot? He's not old? Come on, Dad. He's got to be almost 40. He's practically as old as you are. Still can't you, you squirt. <laughs> <laughs> 